shape-shifting prawn baby. Hello, my name's Crystal D, and you might have seen me presenting Doctor Who the Fan Show, but I'm here to talk about class. So in the metaphysical engine of what Quill did, uh, we see Quill and what she gets up to whilst the, uh, the class mates uh, are in detention, um, as we saw last week. So she teams up with the headmistress and uh, a guy, a shape-shifting guy called uh, Balan, to find bits and bobs and things to get the um, Arn, um, which is the creature inside her head, um, out. Yeah, how they go about doing that, we'll get onto that, but it's quite, it's quite horrific. This episode is all about Quill which is great because I love Quill. The thing I look forward to the most, one of the things I look forward to the most in class is seeing Quill because um, she's, so far, she's had these fantastically witty lines and she has been such a sort of strong uh, contrast to the, to the class classmates. She, uh, she jumps in with, with um, these brilliant lines and, and she's had these sort of amazing moments. But who is Quill? Where is she from? Where's her backstory? I mean, she, it's interesting because we see this week, we see a lot more of what she's about and her emotions and, and that she actually has emotions. This week actually is, is quite unexpected where she, uh, when she apparently falls in love with Balan. Um, there's definitely a, that connection there and I think they're brought together through their experiences um, and, and feeling different and feeling like they're outcasts or the last the last or the only of their kind uh, I think and I always felt sorry for, for Quill because um, I felt like although she presents this sort of very hard shell she, 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 she has this front I always knew under that that there were emotions there and it was so nice to actually see her connect with somebody um, and I think I felt like she sort of really deserved it. Who is the headmistress? Who is the governors? Who are the governors? Um, what do they want with Miss Quill? Why are they so determined to get this thing out of her head? What do they need her for? Is this headed somewhere? There's been so much held back so far, and there's a lot of mystery about you know around who they are. They turn up halfway through the series, uh, very unexpectedly, this new headmistress, and uh, we don't know very much about her. Uh, all we know is that she can travel in a pod crystal thing and wears sort of Indiana Jones clothing sometimes. And she knows an awful lot uh, and she knows who Quill is, who Charlie is and I mean how, how would she possibly know that and who, who's giving her this information? How does she have this information? Who are they? <laughs> I think it's really important to talk about the effects work. This week, that is so strong. We, we, go, we go to these different worlds and you know, you've got the, this lovely, beautiful forest that's so striking with colour. And uh, also the costume design, Balan's costume, which is, uh, he's got his contact lenses, he's got, um, it's very believable that he's, he's from somewhere else. The biggest thing, I think, in this episode, which is the obvious, it's it's, it's the moment where Miss Quill gets the creature out of her head. And I am really, 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 really squeamish. Like, I can't watch blood and things like that. And I, I remember when it was happening, I thought, are they, are they going to show it? And I thought, no, surely they're not, they're not going to show it. They can't show it. And then I was like, hang on, this is class. Yeah, they're probably going to show it. And then it started happening and the, it starts coming out of her eye and I was like, oh my god, this is, it's like, it's like alien, you know, the alien bursts out of the chest. It was the same thing and I just thought, oh my goodness. And then I, re I remember from the trailers that she had this scar and I just thought, oh my gosh, I know what's happening. It's going to burst out and it does. It must have been so painful. Um, and, uh, you know, and then she gets healed up um, with um, some sort of um, hocus pocus and it's, it's all done. And now she is free. She's, she's got freedom. So where is that going to go? Can I just say, this is something that I've not been able to get out of my head, right? I'm just wondering what that baby's going to look like. Shapeshifter. Don't know what that, what that, that shapeshifter's real appearance looks like. Quill. Well, we know that she's sort of a bit kind of like uh, scaly and a bit kind of, you know, um, like a kind of shrimp. I mean, I don't know, guys, like, like, leave your thoughts in the comments. Will we see the adventures of shape-shifting prawn baby? There's another spin-off. Do it. At the end of the episode, uh, the headmistress uh, tells Quill and Balan that there's only enough energy uh, in the crystal thing for one trip, so somebody's gonna die. Quill 
ends up, well, ends up killing Balin. Um, and that's awf awfully sad because she loves Balin. But then she sort of seems to escape quite easily through the doors of the cabinet. Which led me to think, oh, well, couldn't, couldn't they have both gone through the doors? Did they have to do this? Did they have to kill each other? What was uh, doubly interesting about this week's episode was that uh, it was uh, in parallel to the events of last week. So we've got these two episodes as a two-parter, but the stories are happening at the same time. I thought that was a really interesting, interesting decision. What did you guys think of that? Did you like it? Would you like to see more experimentation in terms of uh, the, sort of, the sort of format? Or let us know if that worked for you. All of the details of the Classmates channels are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from Doctor Who and we'll see you soon. Bye!